guys, welcome back to Clink. My name is Harry, and as you can see, it's Christmas. Dressed a little bit Christmas suit for you. Got my nice Christmas suit on. And today, obviously, with the Christmas attire, I am going to be making you a Christmas cocktail. Now, the Christmas cocktail I'm going to be making today is eggnog. Now, eggnog has a huge history to where it came from and all this sort of stuff. As most cocktails do, it's very vague. People, need, people really need to start writing things down when it comes to making cocktails. Um, but the history that we've got is back in the 13th century, I know, a little bit later than the cocktails I'm normally making, um, monks uh, in, the, in, in Britain were drinking uh, something called posset, which they mix. It was a hot, milky ale type drink. That's what it was that's referred as. Um, also often drunk with um, made with uh, eggs and figs, quite an old style sort of fruit in there. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the earliest we can sort of trace it back to. To make it, what made it more Christmassy is it sort of hopped over the pond from the, from the uh, Britain to uh, America, and it was then um, mixed with sort of rum, which was cheap at the time. Um, and, and this was in the uh, 17th, oh sorry, 18th century, excuse me. Um, and what else was it there? Just sort of spices they were adding, um, things that were cheap. Um, and it's become more of a popular Christmas thing with that sort of side of things. The original eggnog recipe that we know, the more pop, sorry, not original, popular eggnog recipe we know now is quite a long process. It's, um, unless you can like buy a carton of it in the shops or something pre-made, um, it's, it's quite a painstakingly long thing to make, which obviously I'm not going to make a long video on making how to make it. Uh, they sometimes like cook it with, obviously what they do, they cook egg yolks and milk and cream and they add that together, heating up with the rum and all that and everything like that. So there's a lot of components into making an eggnog, a normal eggnog. So I am going to give you a recipe of a cocktail which you can call eggnog, but you don't have to cook anything, and it doesn't take very long at all. In fact, you don't even have to shake it. Look at that, no, no effort. And like I said, like I did in the uh, James Bond video, it's hard to shake a cocktail in a soup. So I'm not going to shake today. I'm going to stir. So what I'm going to do is I've got some gingerbread syrup here. I've got some Jack Daniel's honey. And then I've got a butterscotch liqueur. So we're going to mix that together with some milk and it's going to be delicious. So first things first, we've got our glass. It's like I said, not shaking, not still It's going to be built in the glass. So first things first, I'm going to put our gingerbread syrup in. Now, I did do a little taster of this the other day, a little trial. And I put, I think I put 20 mils in. And I thought it was nice, but it's sweet. So I'm only putting 15 mils of this one in, just the gingerbread syrup. Um, you can get hold of this in certain shops, it is a bit of a fine. Um, if you work for a restaurant or a bar, you have suppliers you can contact, and you might have a better uh, luck finding it. If you do not work in hospitality and you want to give it, like trying to find a bottle of this, um, just Google it, shop around, you might be able to buy it online. Um, as it is, um, it doesn't have to be this brand, but um, you know, this is what I've only ever used. I've never seen them. There is other gingerbread syrups out there, I have seen them. Um, it's not alcoholic, so you know, it shouldn't be too expensive for you. But yeah, shop around, see if you can buy it online. Um, but yeah, so next to going in is our butterscotch liqueur. So this is alcoholic. Um, I'm only going to put 15 mils of this in. Um, butterscotch liqueur, there are a few, um, there are a few out there, so you should to find one of those. And surprisingly common from what I've seen. Here in New Zealand anyway, I see a liquor shop, I see a bottle of this on the shelf. Um, that's something I see. Uh, but if not, just like I said, go online, shop around, have a look for it. Um, this is obviously if you're wanting to uh, spend your money and go for it. I actually made this cocktail a long, long time ago. I was actually taking my time to remember the recipe. And uh, made this uh, cocktail a long time ago when I was living back in the UK. And my stepmom loved it. She absolutely loved it. The uh, gingerbread syrup and everything like that was just, where do we get more of this? Because I think they ran out quite quickly. Um, so next up is our Jack Daniels honey. 
Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of another bourbon or whiskey that does a honey version. Oh, Jim Beam does. Yeah, Jim Beam does. So sorry, there's 45 mils in there. Yeah. But I can't think of another one that does it because, you know, flavoured flavored whiskeys and bourbons is not necessarily the most popular thing. Cool. So now we're going to chuck some ice in it. Got a bit of ice. Oh, that's a big chunk. And then all we have to do now is just top it up with milk. It kind of sits on top, so we're going to have to give that a bit of a stir. Oops, spilled a bit. Oh, I'm spilling everywhere. You do want to make sure you're stirring it because the syrup and the butterscotch liqueur is quite, like, not thick, thick, but like, you know, it is more dense. So it does sort of sit at the bottom, so you want to make sure you're giving that a good stir. Okay. There we are. And then to garnish, I've got a couple, a bit of cinnamon. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to grate this, hopefully. Over the top. Um, subscribe to the channel, 
take photos um, of you at your Christmas parties, drinking your Christmas cocktails, if you are lucky enough to have a Christmas party, or even if you're just at home with, with your partner or kids, or you know, even if you're on your own, don't, don't get down about it. Enjoy the time that you have and make sure you have good fun. Maybe treat yourself to a couple of bottles of, of goodness. Everyone's got milk in the fridge. So, um, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys have a merry, merry Christmas. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, generally, just have a good Christmas. Happy New Year.